Hey, this is Twitch Guitar Nerd, and this is basically a video for Santa. I know it's late, but uh, well, I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So this is my wish list. Uh, it's gonna be three guitars, three effect thingies, and three guitar amps. So what should I start with? Well, let's start with guitars. And the first one uh, is, I want a solo guitar this Christmas. I really want a solo guitar. Because I want a guitar with an Evertune bridge and no one makes Evertune bridge equipped guitars like Solar does. And of course it's, yeah, the brilliant mind of Ola behind it. So that would be something. Uh, I really like the green ones that they did with the neck through, mm -hmm, if that's possible. No, I really like the pink ones actually, but they don't come with Evertune bridges. Why not? I would love one, a pink one with Evertune bridge. So yeah, that's the first one. The second one is, uh, I want that, again, pink traveler guitar vibrant. Oh my god, I really want it, Santa. Please give it to me. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I like, I mean, I like guitars that aren't like any others and then don't necessarily look like traditional guitars. And that doesn't look like a traditional guitar at all. So, and it's pink. Well, finally, uh, and I must say, this is before Eddie passed away. Uh, I was had my eyes on one of his guitars, and it's the Wolfgang Standard. And I think the color is called Northern Light, because it's purple and blue, basically. Which is exactly the colors I have in my stage outfit. And I like the standards. Uh, I mean, probably the the tremolo and everything is not the highest quality, but I mean, the, the other ones, they seem really uncomfortable to me because they have these really hard edges. And the standard has a like an arm cut on it, so it should be much more comfortable. I don't know why none of the others have that. And why would you would want a car top like where it goes like in and out and it's just, I don't know which human that is made for. I like the standards. So those are my three guitars. Mm, let's talk about effects then. Well, first I would want a uh, Fly Rig 5 from T Tech 21. But that already happened. <laughs> With a, a bit of help from Andrew at Tech 21. I actually got one. And so, what would my three picks be? Uh, I'll take an old one the HX Stomp. Because uh, it has been updated again. And uh, in the latest version, they have polyphonic pitch shifting and uh, such, which was the only thing I was missing in the previous ones. So really want it. It's a perfect size. It has all the in and outs you can ever dream of and want. And it's just th that you can put the effects in any order and have them parallel and everything. I mean, the Pod Go has been the thing because that's the new product this year. But uh, that's like a multi effect for dummies. You want something where you can actually put the effects where you want them and experiment. I like to experiment. So the HX Stomp is perfect for that. So that's the one. And secondly, I would want a Boss OC5. Again, with the polyphonic pitch shifting, because that's uh, basically the one effect I use when I play live. 
So that would be interesting to see because, I mean, with digital processing, you have latency because it's, I mean, it's a computer basically that takes the information that comes in, analyzes it, and then outputs something else and processes it, processes it in, in the middle. And uh, yeah, that, that time is shorter and shorter because technology is getting better and better. But yeah, with the OC3 that I have, it's actually, you can actually hear the latency a bit. It's not super fast. Of course, it's an old pedal, but with the OC5, maybe now it's working. Hmm, I wonder. I would really like to try one out. And finally, well, I think Santa is actually sending me this, but it uh, will not make it before Christmas. It's the dwarf from uh, mod devices, the mod dwarf which I actually was one of the ones that got the Kickstarter version and had quite a bit of price reduction. Uh, again, with a modu modular thing, you can put the effects in any order and have create your own effects or yeah, it's endless. It's mind blowing and I can't wait to get it. Yeah, it's basically a computer. That is basically a, a computer built into a, an effect pedal. Uh, they have the mod do that's currently available, but I think the mod dwarf is even more designed to be actually used because there are three foot switches and have more, more, more ways to control it. The actual pedal. They are, it's probably basically the same interior, but. Uh, it just makes more sense to have more control options on the actual pedal. So, can't wait to get it. Yeah. Okay, those were the effects and the guitars. Well, amps. Uh, yeah, I want the whole tone mojo attack. Oh, that seems like a funny pedal. Uh, Basically has two of their amp modeling thingies in one. So you get uh, something that's high gain and something that's super clean uh, in one pedal. Not unlike... Mm -hmm. uh, but that is an amp as well. So you can actually use it as an amp directly. And it's a pedal format and well, seems like a brilliant concept. I would really want to try that out. Secondly, I've never tried an amp from Quilter. And I'm a fan of solid state amps, if you haven't noticed, if you watch my channel. And they are the big name now, I would say, in the solid state amp business. So I really want to try one out. Maybe the 101, that would be great just to see what it sounds like. If it really has the, the good things from the solid state amps and still some kind of tube-like sound. Well, those are two. The final one I would really want, and I would really want it for special reasons. I would like a Marshall Code amp. Because that seems to be an amp that no one really likes and it's not that popular and will probably be discontinued in a short while that's my guess and i'm i'm guessing i don't know i've never tried one i'm guessing that it's misunderstood maybe maybe it can do good things maybe i don't know i would think it could so i would like to try one out so yeah why not? A Marshall Code Amp. Yeah, that's my wish list, Santa. That's all I want. Uh, yeah, you can add your wishes down here below and see if Santa will uh, make your wishes come true. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I'll wish you all a Merry Christmas and see you next year, 2021. See what that has to offer compared to this. Horrible year. Yeah. 
Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.